This is a 2x2 two two Ortega method tutorial. So, um, this is an intermediate sort of 2x2 uh, two two method. It's uh, pretty easy. If you know OLO, uh, 2 look OLO, 2 look PLO, then you only have to learn 4 algorithms. If you don't know it, then you only need to know 13 algorithms, which seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. And some of these algorithms you can use for the 3x3, OLO and PLO algorithms for the 3x3, so um, that already helps you with that if you don't know it already. Just show you an example or two. So the idea of Ortega is to get one side the same color, but not exactly in the right spot. So what I mean is, this works. Yellow side, but they're not all matched up. So after we do that, we do um, the OLO part. And for OLO, you only need to know the 3x3 three three, um, corner OLO items. So, there we go, and then we can do uh, ZBLL, which does the rest of the cube, so, and there we go. Okay, so getting uh, one side of the cube is extremely intuitive, uh, so I won't go into much detail about that, but um, you basically, let me just do red. This is red, this is red, um, here's a red piece, so I can move it to here, bring this up, put it in its spot, bring it back down, uh, just like F to L, imagine that's already paired up. Uh, it's better to do it on the bottom, although I can do it, on, you can do it on the top too, but I suggest working it on the bottom. So then this, uh, this is red, take that out, and put that in. Okay, so the first OL case is where there's two uh, across from each other that are correct, and then you have one of these that is facing you, and it's on the left side. So it can't be this, because it's on the right side, it has to be on the left side. So what you do is you do, it does have a cube rotation, but it's really easy, so it's X, U, R prime, U prime, L, U, R, U prime, R prime. The next case for OLO is where you have two across from each other, correctly oriented, and then one. And then these two are across from each other on the left. So you hold it like this, and you do R, U, R prime, U prime, L prime. U, R, U prime. And then it will be on the top. The next case for OL is where you have one in the correct spot, and then uh, they you have one pointing towards you. This is on the left side in this position, and this is uh, facing you. So what you do is you do the outcome. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U2, R prime. The next algorithm is where when you try to do that case, the last case, this is not facing you. So what you do is you turn it so it is facing you now. This one is still facing you. And you do R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. The next case is where you have two adjacent to each other, uh, correctly oriented, and then two on the other side, uh, headlights, sort of, um, here, not across from each other, but next to each other like this. So this algorithm is very easy, uh, different from the 3x3. Three three. It's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. The next OL algorithm is where there are headlights on the left, like this, and then there's two across from each other like this. So on top, there's none oriented. So what you do is you basically do the same as last time. It is F, R, U, 
R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. The last OO case is where you have headlights in front and the headlights in back. So what you do is, same with the last two, except you do it three times. It is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Okay, so before we get to ZBLL, which is where you finish the whole cube, uh, instead of doing that, sometimes you get lucky and you do solve this bottom part. So sometimes you get it correctly and you don't realize it, so, uh, and then you do uh, OL and it will be a different case. So what you have to do then is, there's only two cases, there's one where these two uh, need to be swapped across from each other, and then uh, one where they're adjacent and they need to be swapped, like this. So for this one, you can either do the deep permutation, but I think it's easiest to just do this algorithm. So you put this uh, 2 by one block in the back, and you do L prime, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R prime, D2, R2. Okay, so the final case is when they're cross each other like this. Do the algorithm is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, R, U prime. And you solve the cube. Okay, so now that you have both uh, sides correctly uh, oriented, you um, you need to do one more algorithm. It's called ZBLL uh, to solve the rest of the cube. There are four, four algorithms for this. So, uh, the first one is where there's a 2x2 two two one block on the top and there's none anywhere else. This is red, it's sort of hard to see. So, what you do is very easy, R, U prime, R, F2, R prime, U, R prime. And you should solve the cube. Okay. So the next case is when there's a 2x2 two two one block on the bottom. It's basically the same thing as this, except you do it upside down. So it's L, T prime, L, F2, L prime, D, L prime. The next ZBLL case is when you have one 2x1 block on the top, one 2x1 block on the bottom. So you put them together like this. Sometimes they will be the same color like uh, blue and blue, but usually it's different and at the end you'll just have to do like a U prime or whatever. So what you do is you put it in the back like this and you do R2, U, F2, U2, R2, U, R2. And then at the end, you just have to do it. Well, you can. So the final case you need to know is the easiest, extremely easy. So it's when um, there are no two by one blocks on the top or the bottom. So sometimes it'll be like this, and you have to find it. So what you do is you turn it. So then they have like these blocks, like this. And what you do is you do the algorithm R2, F2, R2. Definitely the easiest and I suggest doing R2 prime, F2, R2. That's just how I do it. I think it's fast. So that is all you need to know to learn Ortega. Uh, I solve it in about sub 8 seconds, sub 7 seconds. Um, isn't that good, but uh, I know some people can do it in around sub 6, sub 5 even. So um, it is an easy method to know, and it can be pretty fast. So um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.